Guys, yet again, it's happening. You're seeing the continued spiraling of Don Jr. Somebody who likes to think they're better than everyone else. Meanwhile, they sound and look awful. Again, whether it's drunk, I don't know what it is. It certainly doesn't look great. And this time, he tried to make a whole big effort to mock Kamala Harris for trying to be welcoming to people who are visually impaired. He's hopping on this whole bandwagon wagon where Kamala Harris introduced herself with pronouns and mentioned the color of the jacket she was wearing because people in the room who maybe don't have the best sight or any sight at all need to be able to know or at least it's nice for them to be able to know the context of what's happening around them and so Harris was actually being quite welcoming and Don Jr. in what I can only describe as a seemingly drunk twitching breakdown collapse whatever you want to call it took it upon himself to embarrass himself well guys just when you thought you couldn't make up the stupidity that you couldn't get any worse i gave you the veep not as in veep the show but basically exactly like it except for in this time it's with the real vice president the actual sitting vice president of the united states i give you vice president kamala harris uh, good afternoon. I want to welcome these leaders for coming in to have this very important discussion um, about some of the most pressing issues of our time. Um, I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. And um, Guys, I mean... I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table in a blue suit. So for the fact checkers, I get it. They're at a conference for disability, so they'll somehow say that, you know, that's why and fine. I'll go with it. Okay. But it ain't the only time they're doing this stuff. This pronoun thing is taking up real time, creating a real drain, and that's what happens when your entire focus is, like, diversity, equity, inclusion, and critical race theory, rather than, like, I don't know, inflation, rather than jobs, rather than energy crises, rather than maybe doing something for Americans, but no, no, no. We can focus on our pronouns and sending, like, $60 billion to Ukraine. I don't know how it's going to get spent. You know, some of that obviously going to be a kickback to big war, the military industrial complex who sat back and watched big pharma get rich in the U.S. And they're like, hey, guys, it's our turn again. But that's what's going on in our country. They're the most powerful people in our nation are taking the time out of their day to make sure that everyone who already knows their pronouns really knows their pronouns. Right. They're all doing it. Right. It. You know, in the minutes that were done there, maybe they could have actually accomplished something. Maybe Kamala Harris's pronoun should have been like border czar because that's what her job was. That's what she was assigned and, you know, obviously totally neglected. And she went somewhere within like a thousand miles of the real crisis. But like other than that, did nothing. So I think our pronouns, guess what, guys? Our pronouns, we're screwed. Okay, because this stuff is going on every day. And whether it's happening at the highest level of government, whether it's happening at the highest levels of the military, you've seen it all. This is their focus. Their focus isn't winning wars. It's this PC crap. It's only setting us back. It's going to cost our hegemony in the world, on the world stage, because the only people that are actually taking this seriously are China because they're laughing their butts off, taking it seriously as they build up their military, as they do everything, everything to subvert the U.S., to put us back. And this is our focus rather than taking on that challenge, right? The only thing Kamala Harris has accomplished in 18 months is saying her pronouns. And rather than fixing the thing she's been assigned, again, we're going to see more of this. It's just never going to end until we say enough is enough, okay? We get it. There's 200 billion genders at this point, right? And there's 4 million pronouns. The world's foremost experts have no idea, you know, in the subject even, don't even know what they're talking about. But guess what? I'm sure they'll get some, you know, woke university to pay them a lot of money to do it. It's not going to work, folks. And we're going to wake up one day and it's going to be too late. And that's a damn shame.
again, the question we all have to be asking is like, why is this happening? Why is he putting these out? Why is this? He's like sitting in his office and he's like, okay, I just want to film a video of myself sounding and looking like a twitching impaired maniac. And I'm going to put this out and no one's going to stop me, I guess. No one looks bad here except for you. This guy wants to trash the vice president and he wants to trash the military when fundamentally all Kamala was doing was helping accessibility and Donald Trump Jr. has never served a day in his gosh darn life and doesn't have any of the masculine energy to actually serve in the military that he trashes as being overly feminine and overly woke. A front to back mess here from a guy who frankly needs some help.